Hey guys, so today in this video, we will discuss about the affinities of phylum Onychophora with the phylum Annelida and Arthropoda. So in the last video, I have discussed about the external and internal features of phylum Onychophora. So if you don't have seen, so first visit that video so that you get the overview that how the phylum Onychophora looks like and how uh, are the characters so that you can clearly differentiate the similarities between the uh, Onychophora with Annelida and with Phylum Arthropoda. So let's have discuss. So the first thing that uh, you have to, which will help to differentiate the characters are the first to see the how the Phylum Onychophora looks like. So let's see. See the Phylum Onychophora example, one of the very good example of Phylum Onychophora is Peripetus or which is also known as Velvet Worm. See the body of peripetus. Uh, I, I will call it as onychophore, okay, so that you can clearly differentiate. The first thing that you have to remember that their body is elongated. See here, the body is long, worm like, and uh, small, small, teeny, teeny legs are found. And in the anterior side, two antennas are found, and just in the base of antenna, two eyes are also found. It is not clearly visible in that. Okay, and they are see their head is not differentiated with the body. Clearly, is not differentiated. So head is true head is not found. So I think you get the overview how the phylum Onychophora looks like. Now we will see the similarities. Okay, so let's see the similarities of Onychophora with Annelida. The first thing is that vermiform body in the phylum Onychophora vermiform body as we have seen peripetus which is also known as velvet worm so they have vermiform body which shows the characters similar characters with annelida second thing is the absence of true head true head i have told you that they their head is not differentiated with the body so true head is not found in them then dermomuscular body wall with dermomuscular body wall with circular and longitudinal muscles so this is also a character of phylum annelida which is found in onychophora then structure locomotion locomotion is slow you have seen the earthworm earthworm whose locomotion is slow slow locomotion in the same way in the peripetus which is the example of onychophora so both have slow locomotion then structure structure of simple eye is like polychaetes what are the polychaetes polychaetes are actually the class it is the class under the phylum annelida so phylum onychophora eyes their eyes is similar to polychaetes which shows the similarities bit, between annelida then presence of cilia in reproductive and excretory gland so in them uh, cilia is present in the reproductive and excretory ducts the slime and coxal gland is present remember coxal gland is present which is also a similarity with annelida then simple and straight elementary canal. Elementary canal is straight C. Elementary canal is straight with mouth in the anterior side and in the posterior side. Anus is found. So mouth and anus is in the terminal form. Okay. Terminal mouth and anus is found and the elementary canal is straight. Segmentally arranged nephridia is found. Nephridia is segmentally arranged nephridia is found. So these are the some characters of onychophore which shows the characters with phylum analytes so i am summarizing the points that you have to remember is the first see vermiform body second absence of head absence of true head then dermomuscular body wall locomotion locomotion is slow slow locomotion then cilia cilia is present where cilia is present in the reproductive and excretory ducts structure of eyes eyes are similar to annelids slime and coxal gland is present coxal gland is present then straight elementary canal is present and segmentally arranged nephridia is present so these are the characters now see uh, now let's have a look that what are the characters of onychophore which are similar to phylum arthropods okay so see here affinities with arthropods what are the affinities first the presence of antenna Antenna is present. I have told you that two antennas are present in the anterior sides. So this is the character of phylum arthropods, which is found in onychophores. Then jaws are modified appendages. 
the ajas are modified appendages in the same way like an arthropods locomotion locomotion with definite leg see here i have told you see it is a uh, uh, peripatus on ico4 okay so locomotion is by leg this is the character of arthropods and slow locomotion slow locomotion this is the character of annelid so in this way it shows the character of annelids and arthropods so the locomotion with definite leg is the character of arthropods then cuticle has thin deposits of chitin chitin is also found just in the upper layer um, uh, of the cutaneous cuticle cuticle layer deposits chitin then body cavity is known as hemocoiled hemocoiled bo body cavity is found in arthropods so their body is also known as hemocoiled so in this way it shows similarities with arthropods then psyllium is reduced into a small cavity surrounded by excretory and reproductive duct their psyllium is reduced psyllium is reduced a small cavity then similar salivary glands their salivary glands are similar in the onychophore as well as in arthropods both then tracheal respiratory system tracheal respiratory respiratory system we have seen in the uh, uh, like uh, see the example cockroach in which tracheal respiration is found in the same way in the peripatus tracheal respiration is found so these shows the similarities then brain is large large brain is found same way like in arthropods then structure of reproductive organ reproductive organ and development stages are like insects so the phylum onychophores like uh, larval stages which is found in the phylum arthropods in the same way they also shows the similarities with arthropods so let's see the keywords that you have to remember okay the first thing is the antenna then jaws are modified appendages cuticle which have chitinous deposits psyllium which is known as hemocoil then locomotion is by legs tracheal respira respiration is found structure of reproductive organ or reproductive process is similar to arthropods so these are the characters okay hope it is clear now now see how they serve as a link between phylum annelida and arthropoda onychophora serve as a link and some uh, onychophora so some characters of annelida and arthropoda and it have some unique characters which are differentiated from annelida arthropoda and other phylum so earlier the phylum onychophora was kept in the phylum arthropoda but now it uh, because of its some unique character it is now uh, separated in a other phylum so it have uh, now new place in the animal kingdom okay so see what are the conclusion that we get, got is the they are considered as a intermediate link between annelida and arthropoda however they have some unique character which and because of this they are placed in the phylum of its own its own phylum that is onychophora hope it is clear now guys so thank you for uh, watching and thank you thank you so much